Target Team in TV. Today is 11th of November at uh, 2022. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and uh, follow. And uh, so, guys, uh, former Nigerian President Olusegun Obasanjo has blamed Zimbabwe for a spate of coups in Africa, saying that the Southern African country set a bed presented by removing its founding leader, late President Robert Mugabe, from office in November 2017. Obasanjo, who served as Nigeria's head of state from 1976 to 1979, later as its president from 1999-2007, made the remarks while addressing the Pan-African Parliament in Midland, Johannesburg, South Africa. He said, I once moved a motion in 1999, then that any country that has a government not through constitutional means should be suspended. There should be no half measures about this. He started in Zimbabwe, where they said it's not a coup and it's a half coup, it's near a coup. A coup is a coup. Citizens of Africa have been able to shun leaders who amend the constitution, intending to personally gain from such amendments. His remarks were apparently in reference to Operation Restore Legacy, which was laid by then Commander Konstantino Chiwenga, now State Vice President, which resulted in Mugabe's forced resignation. The Zimbabwean military staged the operation on the eve of 15 November and members of the public joined and thronged the streets demanding that Mugabe must go. The events paved way for the installation of Mugabe's long-term aide and now President Emerson Nangagwa. Since then, nations such as Sudan, Mali, Burkina Faso have experienced recent coups and are under military rule. Military coup were a regular occurrence in Africa in the decades after independence and there is a great concern that are starting to become more frequent. A study by US researchers Jonathan Powell and Clayton Tyne identified over 200 coup attempts in Africa since the 1950s and about half of these have been successful. And so, uh, former President Obasanjo is saying that Zimbabwe did set a bad example to other African countries and the Saga, yeah. When we start to go to Titara, organize a military coup, we can succeed. And the Saga, they make coup at you, Zoya, ne change. Tight pangus, you may. We all know my soldiers are Kanaapa, Nyanga, and then got to watch everything, command, command everything. And the so I feel like I was too uh, suffering from the effects of that coup in November 2017, and uh, the military did really take over uh you know since then up to now they might deny or say otherwise but many people are regretting so this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince mila entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment and follow bless up